Well, hi, Nick Knackers. All right, so um, I thought I'd bring you guys along for uh, something that I, I just got done making a couple of days ago. Um, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. It's so good. Um, very potent, so you have to be very careful with it. Um, but something that I'm definitely gonna make again, gonna be handing out for Christmas gifts, I think. Um, and what that is, is apple pie moonshine. So the recipe that I used um, called for a lot of juice, a lot of cider, um, a lot of sugar, and a lot of alcohol. I kind of modified it a little bit, and um, I'm a sweet alcohol drinker. I don't like um, a really intense alcohol flavor. I want to hardly even be able to taste the alcohol. Eric, on the other hand, is the opposite. He felt like the drink was too um, sweet and didn't have enough of the alcohol flavor in it. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be making a different recipe that has um, a little bit less sugar and less juice so that, that more of the alcohol flavor comes through. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy it, um, but I think that Eric will enjoy it more. And I do have um, some people that said that they were interested in trying it who um, also voiced that they thought that they might like a lower um, sugar content one. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So um, I will link the um, website where I'm getting this apple pie moonshine recipe from, and I'll also link um, my original that I just did a couple days ago. Let me turn off the dishwasher. Um, now I will tell you that I'm, I'm gonna modify this one and I modified the last one as well. And um, I'll tell you how I modified them. So the this recipe will call for um, a gallon of apple cider and just one quart of apple juice where the recipe I did the other day called for an entire gallon of apple juice. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put in my um, quart of apple juice and we're gonna get that heating up. I honestly am not sure. In fact, I might not even heat it up because when I made it last time, um, I didn't heat it up and everything really melded together nicely. I don't feel like heating it up is a necessity. That's more for just getting the sugar to dissolve. But um, if you stir it enough, the sugar is gonna dissolve. So I, I don't know. If, if you're in a hurry to make it, um, don't feel like you have to heat it up because I don't think that you do. I did not heat up my last batch and it turned out fantastic. So there is my quart of apple juice. Um, you know what, I'm, I might just for the sake of the video go ahead and heat it up. So it the recipe calls for you to heat up the apple juice and the apple cider together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up the apple juice and the sugar all together and get that done and then cool it off with the apple cider. That way we can get this going and um, I can get everything jarred up and done. So once this is heated up, um, let's see, we can throw in a couple of other things. I need three cups of brown sugar. I forgot to grab my cup here. So I also am gonna need one cup of white sugar. So I'm gonna get my cup of white sugar here and get that in. And it calls for three cups of the brown sugar. And it doesn't say if it should be packed down or not. That's normally when you see um, recipes calling for brown sugar, it says packed, so I'm packing it. Um, there's a little bit of space left in there, so. Let me get, let's see, where's my other, oh, there's the other bag. All right, 
And there's the three cups. And I'll get my spoon out, my ladle here to kind of stir it around. I don't want that sugar to... Mm. Now the other thing I'm going to do that was not um, listed in either one of these recipes, but you know, this is called apple pie moonshine. And to me, apple pie calls for spices. So what I did with my last batch, and I'm gonna do with this one, is I added a quarter teaspoon of allspice. So I'm gonna do that. And I added a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I'm going to do that as well. Oh, brand new one. And this is supposed to make six quarts, so we'll see how, how on it that is. Oh, you guys, it smells amazing. It's only noon and it makes me want to drink already. It is really good. I hope you guys give this a try. And I'll, I'll have to uh, bring you back and, for a taste test and see if uh, there's really a difference between either one or which one we like better. I have a feeling they're going to be pretty similar just because other than um, one having more apple juice... Um, well, and actually, you know, it's weird because with the gallon of apple juice and the gallon of cider that I did, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I, um, I added extra alcohol, so that probably makes up for it. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Like I said, I'm going to do a taste test and I'm going to link you to both of the recipes. That way you can decide which one you want to do. Or maybe you want to modify it a little bit yourself. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we got that in. Sugar is pretty much melted. We're going to move this over off the heat. And I'm going to go ahead and pour in my apple cider. Now the apple cider, it calls for a full gallon of apple cider. So we get to go ahead and put this whole thing in. And you're probably wondering why I'm just not using my home canned apple juice that I just did the other day. And um, I just didn't want to. I just canned it and I just wanted to use this. So that's what I'm doing. But you know what, if you have your home canned stuff and that's what you wanna use, then go ahead and use your home canned stuff. All right, so there's that. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now the important part, before you add any alcohol, you need the pot to cool down. You need to let it set, be patient, and let it come down to room temperature because if you put alcohol in with too much of the the hot stuff, that uh, alcohol will just um, evaporate right off. So what I'm gonna do is I am, it's like 50 degrees outside right now, so I am gonna put the lid on this and I'm gonna set this outside and let it cool. And once it comes time for the alcohol, I'll bring it back in here and we'll move on to the next step. The um, mix is now at about room temperature, maybe a little cooler than that. Um, I had it setting outside for an hour and a half, two hours, and it's nice and cool to the touch now. So um, adding the alcohol will be just fine. Mm -hmm. So the recipe calls for um, a bottle of Everclear. So I was able to find this bottle. It is the 190 proof 
what I read says that if you, your state doesn't have the 190, that you can use the 151, but I have the 190. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. There's that. And now what I did last time that I'm not going to do this time is I added a whole bottle of vanilla vodka and a whole bottle um, of the same size as 750 ml um, of spiced rum. So the recipe that I'm following today calls for a cup of spiced rum and then it says but two cups taste good too so what i decided to do was i think i like because when you're making an apple pie you usually put vanilla in with your apple pie so i'm gonna put a cup of the spiced rum and a cup of the vanilla vodka instead of a second cup of the spiced rum There's one cup, and then I don't think I've opened this yet. And there is our cup. And then um, another thing that I did different with this recipe um, than what it calls for is this actually calls for um, you to put the cinnamon sticks in with um, the mixture as it's heating up. And uh, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a cinnamon stick in every jar and uh, just leave it in there. That's what I did with the last batch. Um, I did put it in, but I, of course, I already told you I wasn't mixing this warm. Um, now I will say I did use, oh, that's the difference too. I, I told you that already, the gallon of the cider versus the, gal the gallon of apple juice. So the apple juice gives it a more uh, cleaner look, I guess. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So what I did was I filled it to about an inch of headspace, a little bit over, no biggie. And then uh, since we're not canning this, we can just put a lid on it and put a ring on it and there it is now according to what i've read there's a cinnamon stick in there according to what i've read this is shelf stable and as it sits it needs to sit for um, about a month or so and then it will um, kind of mellow out a little bit that alcohol flavor so let me i'm going to get a spoon because i kind of like to try that right now and see um, if I like the flavor. This one actually does have quite a bit more of the alcohol flavor. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It is very good. And I think with the cinnamon stick in there and it um, having some time to really permeate the the moonshine will be very, very tasty. But it definitely, to me, has a little bit more of a um, alcohol flavor to it, which is really weird because with the other batch, I put in more of the spiced rum and the uh, vanilla vodka. But it's very tasty. I honestly, I don't think that you could go wrong with either recipe. So um, with that, I'm going to continue. Um, ooh, Fly wants to get a little buzz. I'm going to continue filling these up and oh before I do that let me show you 
Um, there's that jar. I'll grab the one, not the one, but a one out of the fridge, just so I can show you the difference between the two. Um, both of them are very, very good. I think I prefer this one just because there's not quite as much of an alcohol flavor to it. Um, it's a little bit sweeter, um, but they're both very tasty. And like I told you, the apple, more of the apple juice kind of um, clears it up a little bit. The only difference with this one, um, I'm not so sure that this one would be shelf stable. I, I'm not quite sure just because of the gallon of juice. Although I did use more of the alcohol, maybe it would be okay. Um, but I'm with this one, I'm following the recipe that was po posted. Um, this one, I kind of winged it a little bit more and I did actually end up, um, I think I had more apple juice or cider than what was called for in the recipe and I wasn't paying attention and I added it all in. So I am leaving this in the fridge, um, but this one I'm just going to keep on the shelf. So anyway, there's that. I'm going to continue filling these up and I will um, show you what it it looks like when I have all the jars filled and let you know just how many I got out of this. There we go. We got seven jars and just a smidge whoop, left in the pot there. And what I'll do with that is I'll just end up um, putting it in one of the jars that is open in the fridge um, that needs to be added to it. And that should be just fine. Well, there you go. Um, I will make sure that I link uh, both of the recipes that I used. Um, and if you guys have made this, let me know. If you think you're going to try it, let me know. Um, I'll tell you, I don't think you can go wrong either way. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.